I'm gonna edit this down to about three minutes or so. I'm be babbling about some shit that I don't really know anything about. Let's talk about it real quick. The slap heard around the world. All right. Thinking about this all day here. These are my, re my this is my view, my uh, idea, my take on the slap heard around the world here. And of course, we all know who the slap heard around the world was. That was uh, Will Smith slapped the shit out of Chris Rock at the Oscars because he made a joke about Jada Pinkett, which I thought was funny. But anyway, let's talk about it. Real fast, four points here, four points. First point, one, Will Smith, you are not mad at Chris Rock. So why I say that is because we all know, like I said, I'm not going to be here for too long. We all know that Jada Pinkett over the last year or so, or whatever, however long it's been, has been doing like this freaking media tour, just on, just going from wherever she can. Anytime somebody puts a microphone in her mouth, all she wants to say is about my husband's penis. You know, I mean, she can't stop talking about this other guy to the point where they had the word entanglement trending. And I'm like, what about this guy here? He had more than your wife's name in his mouth you know what i'm saying so why even go slap him why do you even say nothing to him they got memes of will smith look like he was crying or something like that so it's like you're not mad she's talking about he couldn't live up to tupac sexually and stuff it's like this man looks kind of like a, a simp and it ain't just me saying that you know i i'm online i've read a million comments about people celebrities everybody laughing at this nigga to the point where they made a gofundme to do a gofundme for jada pinkett to stop doing interviews about will smith it's cringy and embarrassing so one that's my point one you're not mad you're not mad at chris i don't know why you took out your anger on him i guess because he was a soft target and he probably knew nobody nothing was going to happen you know like chris wasn't going to deck him out because he wouldn't have did that to dave Chappelle. you know what i'm saying dave Chappelle looked like he would have put him in a, um, a headlock okay two. Oh, he made a joke about the illness she's got alopecia oh, shut up shut up i heard jokes about cancer okay i heard cancer jokes about uh, cancer patients from people with cancer, without cancer, who never had cancer, who know people who died from cancer. I've heard cancer jokes. I've heard, I, I've heard jokes about everything, and so have you. So let's stop pretending that he, oh, uh, you can't make jokes about illness. Uh, he made a joke about her illness. And two, does he even know? It's not like that's something that they teach in school that Jada Pinkett has fucking alopecia. Who the fuck knows that? So it looks like she might have just sh shaved her head. I've seen, you know, people with bald heads go bald or whatever. So why does he fucking know that? Uh, you know, why is she such a special snowflake that nobody can make fun of her? You get roasted out of comedy. That's why you don't sit in the front. Also, too, I thought Oscars were so white. But I guess they're not so white when your husband is nominated. When you don't get nominated for Pursuit of Happiness, then Oscars are so white. But when you do get nominated for an award, then you can sit in the front row. But then now, you know not to sit in the front row with a comedian. Especially black people. Come on, you know this already. Three. I thought jokes were sacred. A few months ago, we was all saying Dave Chappelle had the right to make jokes about trans people he wants, which, you know, he can make jokes about whatever because I've sat and watched comedy shows with people and I, you know, they make jokes about black people and I'm sitting there like, mm-hmm, all right, all right, get that in, get your jokes, ha, ka, ki, ki, ka, ka. it's funny now, right? And then they do the gay jokes and I'm like, ah, y'all do be doing that, ah, y'all do be acting like that. You know, it's funny, you take it, you take it. It's, it's jokes, it's one thing if they make it like, deliberately cruel hate filled joke with hate speech in it this is jokes okay i thought jokes were sacred you know watch family guy look at the black jokes on family guy look at all the nobody's crying about that they got the blacky weather forecast i'm like oh was that supposed to be al roker okay yeah it's funny okay great that's three jokes jokes are sacred i thought so do we protect comedians or not is comedy sacred or not and last um what would i do if i was chris rock because I can't say what I would do if I was Will Smith, because I would never be in that position. If I was Chris Rock, let me tell you, I would have probably not have hit him back. I would have looked right at his wife. I would have called her Little Bill, and then I would have just did nonstop set all about her, about her acting, about her movies. And they probably would have had to call security and get me out of there, because I would have done a full set between takes. I'd have been backstage writing Jada jokes. I'd have been back there like... Oh, word, word. She was bad and woo. Oh, woo was terrible, right? Yeah, I, I, I'd have been doing that, you know? So that's what I would have just controlled. And I would never stop doing Jada Pinkett jokes ever until the end of time. And that is my take on Slap Heard Around the World. Oh, woo, boom, five minutes exactly. Bam, I'm nice.